The ACR annual meeting 2017 will bring together scientists from around the world and we will have the newest developments in cancer research discussed in a wide-ranging topics that we considered like really exciting new developments. We will have a lot of immunology that was has been one of the most exciting area of research and very well attended last year and also some of the other precision medicine and developments in precision prevention as well. The ACR annual meeting is really the biggest cancer meeting in the world, and it provides the opportunity to listen to the you know, top speakers um, from the leaders of the field, and not only listen to them, but also interact with them. So we will have several opportunities for more networking interactions, either for a particular topic and also have one of the, you know, several of these more senior leading scientists have the opportunity to interact, particularly with younger investigators. And therefore, it's a really great uh, networking opportunity to, to get to know people who work in a related area or unrelated area and also potentially, you know, foster new collaborations that could be lead to some kind of new discoveries or new direction of research, which you may not think otherwise. We have several new features that we incorporated in the meeting. We have new type of sessions that we introduced that reflects one of the philosophy that we have, that we really have to link basic science to translation and clinical applications. So we have Unsolved Mysteries is a new session which is basically discussing an important clinical problem and we will have a basic scientist and a clinician kind of in a dialogue addressing that. And then we would also like to have a bit more involvement in the audience. There are many new exciting developments in the immunology field, both in the immunotherapies and also predictors of response to immunotherapies. That's one of the topics that will be very well covered at the meeting. We have plenary sessions, major symposia, several of them that's related to this. Then since you know immunotherapies have been applied in the last couple of years, now resistance to immunotherapy is another area that's emerging and will be covered. Then the interactions with immune system and microbiome, which could influence the outcome of Im immunotherapies, is also an interesting area. There is a lot of new methodologies that are very exciting. CRISPR is one of them that could have very, you know, immediate clinical applications. We will have several major symposia on CRISPR. Then monitoring the evolution of the tumors using single cell technologies at different types of technologies with sequencing, liquid biopsies, and more multiplex imaging. That's another exciting emerging areas that will be well covered. So, I mean, those are just the highlights. And of course, one of the major issues in cancer research in general, but particularly with immunotherapies, is developing combination therapies. We all know combination therapy is the way to overcome resistance, but it's very challenging to, to develop these and to avoid the toxicities and also to know which combinations to combine how and that we'll have sessions on those as well.